Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Brandon Blackwood ESR tote. Guys, this is a big deal. Why? Why? Okay, let me tell you why. Because you can't even get this bag anymore. Like, it is discontinued. If you did not get on this last drop, like, ugh, you're not going to get it. Every time he's dropped this bag, and I think this is like the third or fourth time, it has sold out. And he was like, y'all keep wanting this bag. Okay, I'm going to give it to y'all, but this is it. I'm just really excited because lately I've been really into purses and this year I wanted to make it a priority to support black owned businesses. I was able to get two, one for me, one for my mom. So I'm excited to show you guys what they look like. If this sounds interesting to you, stick around and we're going to check out these bags. is a black owned creator this brand i have been following for a while because when i find out about a brand via social media i like to just like basically stalk the page for a while just to like see get the vibe of the company and stuff like that so i can't remember exactly how i found him but yeah it's been a while so when this last drop came around and he said it was the last time that the ESR tote was going to be available. I was like, I have to get it. Yeah, this last drop, he gave so many colors. Like, I don't even know how many colors. I'm going to, like, put something right here that's, like, all the colors he had because it was a lot to pick from and it was really hard. So I end up getting two, one for me, one for my mom, like I said. Just felt like this was the perfect way to mix my wanting to support business and my new love of purses. So let's get into this. So this is the box uh, that it came in, nothing fancy there. Now each bag came with a, a duster bag like this which is nice um i can tell this one i end up getting a green one so i can tell this is mine all right so you guys are ready okay let's open it okay okay so yeah it comes with this little plastic on it oh here it is oh. okay wow okay I like it. I like it a lot. So ESR, if you don't know, you can see, let's focus that. In systematic racism. Like y'all. So I love this. Really like how it's like that, I don't know, I guess maybe the wax or the dune is like that but like just like the different tones of green in there i think it just really adds an extra layer of cuteness in there so in the like the silverware is all silver now usually i'm a gold type of person but honestly i think this looks really good and i think gold would have blended in too much so i'm really glad that he made this in silver because yeah i'm digging the silver hardware on this it, it it goes for the green so i was reading online and the wax denim in this last drop was the only one that was waterproof and i feel like i needed that some of the other materials that he had were canvas um satin some snake skin i think he had that too but the wax denim was the only one that was like maybe in the snake skin was waterproof and i was like i need that because i am kind of like i don't know so anyway uh, let's check out this bag. Let's get into it. So obviously it comes wrapped with uh, plastic around. It also has like these on the bottom so that if you set it, it's kind of like sitting up and you don't sit it right on the table or something. All right, let's open it. Let's do this. Okay. Oops. So all the bags have come with a strap, which I like versatility. So this is great. And open nice little fluff and yeah so let's look at this okay so it looks like we have a pocket here and it just snaps 
so it's a very cute little like like you know I am kind of like uh, <laughs> I do wear my bags like this sometimes I don't know it is not even like trying to be like uppity or anything like it's just comfortable right there like especially like this <laughs> like yes I know so I'm excited but I'm also excited for this strap so that if I do want to make it a shoulder bag it can't be all right so that's this one and then let's open this other one which is the brown okay another duster bag all right and then I just boom now oh I really like hers wow yeah same PSR Look, um, same ESR, same. So initially I was just gonna get one for myself, but my mom can sometimes be really hard to shop for. And we were just, I think we were just like having a conversation about systematic racism. And I was like, oh, she would love this. So she hasn't seen it yet. She just knows that I got her a purse, but she doesn't know it's a Brandon Blackwood purse. <laughs> Yes, here are the bags side by side so that you guys can see the comparison. Now, let's get into the dimensions of the bag. The bag is, uh, let me see if I can like uh, compare something. Okay, so um, I record on my phone, so I can't really use my phone, but I do take off my phone case. And so this is like, I have a, what do I have? I have an 8 plus and this is a case for it's a Lumi case and so it's kind of bigger but you get the point Let's see like okay bag goes in there it's kind of snug but if it it's like we're good we're good so I feel like with this if you're just carrying like your phone wallet um, I use like a card holder so I don't really use a wallet but phone wallet keys lip gloss type of thing and I got some lip gloss right here I just throw it in there okay so you guys see that it fits and I kind of want to attach the strap to go with it because like I want you guys to get the whole view so yeah this is strap okay like that is super cute I actually used to have a purse like this. It was a little coach purse that I used in high school and I don't know what happened to it. And I love that bag. And honestly, Hunter Green matches a lot more than I feel like you think. At least for my wardrobe, it matched a lot. So I'm really excited about this because like, yeah, this is gonna be so cute. It already is cute, but you know what I'm saying? Like, and like let's not forget the message behind the bag like what so yeah this is close it like that it is a mini bag but i like variety so sometimes i may want a big tote but it's about to be summer so you kind of want something that is light easy to you know take along and stuff so I know that I will be ordering other bags from him in the future. Just gotta make sure they don't sell out on me. <laughs> so yes, I am really happy with this. And I'm so glad that I got a bag with this message on it because I really think that's important. <laughs> so guys, if you were thinking about getting a Brandon Blackwood bag, you won't get this one but you still should definitely get you a Brandon Blackwood bag because not only are you getting a luxury purse that is very well made, very well made, you are supporting a black owned business and that is what we about this year and every year, okay? So let's make Brandon Blackwood NYC like it should be on Rodeo, yes. Four to six weeks later, Hi guys, so somehow I managed to forget to film an outro for that last video, so here I am two months later <laughs> filming the outro for that, but in retrospect, or maybe not retrospect, whatever the good word is for that, looking back, maybe it's a good thing because I can kind of give like a mini review on the bag. So. Since I've been using the bag, I have learned that if you are not just doing a 
phone, wallet, keys, lip gloss type of thing. This may not be the right bag size for you just because I've realized, how many times am I gonna say that? Whatever. When I'm, uh, say some, I'm picking something up or I'm leaning over, if the bag is not clasped, everything is gonna fall out as soon as I lean over. So I would definitely say if you carry more than the basics, maybe want to up the bag size. Like I know the next brand in Blackwood bag I get, it will probably be more than likely in a medium. This bag is good if you're just like a simple night out and you don't need a lot of stuff, but just an everyday bag, this is not it. At least not for me because I carry way too much stuff. So that's my little mini review. Side note and updated news on the channel. I know it has been like three weeks since I uploaded a video. Um, life is, um, it's not hard, but it's time consuming. Well, editing, editing guys, it's editing, it's time consuming. But um, I have a plan and I have a schedule. So hopefully, inshallah, I will get to that plan and schedule. Um, and then other than that, we're almost to 50 subscribers, which is great. Uh, I know 50 is not a lot, but every stepping stone I'm so appreciative of. and. I'm just thankful that 50 people want to know when I post videos. So if you haven't already, press that subscribe button because it means a lot. So I think that's everything. So yes, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you again so much for watching and yeah, bye guys.